So I want to address the question here. I have if T is a cyclic normal subgroup of G, and sorry I had a typo there. If it is a cyclic normal subgroup of G, show that every subgroup of T is normal. Okay, and this is a uh, can be a little tricky. It requires a good trick. So here I'm going to prove this. Let's take H to be a subgroup of T, and let's let T be generated by X. Okay, and we know that T is generated by X because X is cyclic. So that's no harm done. And then if that's the case, we can also say then um, that H equals X of K for some K in the integers for any for uh, H in the subgroup H, right? And why is that true? Because H is an element of, of capital H, which means in turn it's an element of T, and all the elements of T are X to some power. Okay, so then for any G in your group, uh, we have that G, H, G inverse, and that's what we need to show that T is normal. G, H, G inverse can be written as G x to the k g inverse which also is another way of saying g x g inverse to the k power now I had to think about that for a little bit is that true and the answer is yes because you can think if I just multiply g x g inverse times g x g inverse times g x g inverse and keep going in this way okay so for example these first three well, then I have some cancellation in the middle, and so g x g inverse cubed is the same thing as g x cubed g inverse. Okay, so we can, in fact, make that substitution. Now, since t is normal, I know that g x g inverse is an element of t. Okay, so that means then that uh, g x g inverse can be written as x to some power, where that uh, m is an integer here, because it's a power. And now, why do we know this? Well, first of all, we know that g, uh, that g, x, g inverses in t, because t is normal, and that's the definition of normal, that these g, x, g inverses would all be in t. And then also, since t is cyclic, I know that g, x, g inverse has to be x to some power, because x generates all the elements of t. We can say, therefore, uh, my g h g inverse, which is the same thing as g x g inverse to the k power, is the same as x to the m to the k power, which is x to the m k, which is the same thing as x to the k m. Okay, and remember x to the k, that's x to the k to the m power. x to the k is h. So we have h to the m power, and that is an element of h. And how do I know that's an element of h? Because h is closed under multiplication, so since h is in h, any power of h is in h as well. Okay, so thus, we can finish this up by saying g h g inverse is in h for any h and h, and for any g and g, because the g's were general. And so, um, finally, H is normal, which is exactly what we're trying to show so in the proof. Okay, so this is a tricky proof if you don't see it, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. So I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.